extending the area of our ground grid or placing ground rods and wells around the substation to better dissipate fault current. In this example, after running an initial ground grid calculation, the step and touch potentials in the substation are above permissible levels. After adding a surface layer of gravel, the circuit involving the body is changed, therefore decreasing the current passing through the body. Bear in mind, these are not always standalone solutions. In many cases, they work interdependently with one another. When IGS calculations allow us to optimize the material we need, therefore lowering material and installation costs as well. This has just been a very brief overview on a detailed and complex process of grinding design. When followed, this ensures that personnel inside the substation will remain safe from unintended electrical hazards and that the installation itself has been optimized to save initial costs. I'm James Purcell.